Hello, hello, hello. My name is Shancy and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I do everyday easy makeup looks, size 16 fashion, and only 100% pure Canadian content. So if you can't buy it in Canada, it will not be on this channel. In today's video, I wanted to give a little nod to Nat G from G Beauty, who always starts all of her beautiful makeup tutorials by putting in a whole bunch of juicy lip balm. And I didn't buy it, but now I feel like I need it to start all of the videos like that. <laughs> so I discovered them through Instagram ads and I ended up purchasing most of the products that were used in like a specific makeup look that I just absolutely adored. Um, and what I was looking for was for a foundation that was more of like a radiant kind of juicy finish because um, I'm just finding finding that working from home, like I, I'm, I'm really focusing on my skin. It's looking really nice and plumpy. I don't need a whole ton of coverage, but I do want like radiance, especially because um, I work from home in, in a corporate job and I have my computer. Um, so I just want to kind of look fresh. So I'll just jump right in and give you guys um, my little thoughts about these products. I've been loving all this little little scenario that I'm going to prepare for you guys. Um, it's very quick and easy and it's just like a natural look. Oh, and the signature Nat G videos always have, she always has like beautiful earrings. Her hair is like not necessarily always fancy. So I just have it in a bun. Yeah, she always has like a cool sweater, fun earrings. Um, and then she starts with the gloss. So I've been doing this makeup with my hands. This is the medium uh, mineral sheer tint. And you see how it like adds this beautiful radiance? It doesn't have full coverage. It's very light coverage, but it's that radiance that I love about it. It's actually like a perfect, even like a summer foundation. Would work really nice on top of some sunscreen. My gorgeous earrings, by the way, are from an indigenous uh, women-owned business. She lives in Ottawa, Canada, and she is learning how to bead to kind of connect with her roots. And I asked my husband for these for Valentine's Day. They're so cool, so cool. But I don't wanna like get makeup on them. <laughs> Okay, then I grabbed the foundation or the concealer. So this is dual action concealer again in the color medium. The shade range is um, very light. I want to say like it's it doesn't they don't have that many colors, but I do find that the medium it works for me. And yeah, I do everything with my fingers. I always have like redness around my nose. Want to edit that out? Oh, I'm doing a really sloppy job. <laughs> okay, light coverage. Lighting is really poor today. I'm so sorry. Um, I am in my recently painted slash in the process of renovating office, which I'm so excited and I, I should do a reveal. It's going to be really nice. I'm partnering with a, uh, an Ottawa kitchen design company because I'm doing a whole wall unit here with cabinetry and vanity and everything. It's going to be nice. Okay. This is the blush from G Beauty and also color medium everything i got was medium so from what i understand g beauty is a toronto and miami based company they have a beauty section they have their own makeup line and then they also have like really nice high-end skincare on their website I've been wearing this makeup for almost a good month.
and I just I really liked the tone of this bronzer it's definitely more of a light color like more winter appropriate if you want to say or more of like a natural bronze look but yeah I really really love it and then for cheeks I'm using the Merit uh, it's a new brand that was launched um, this is Beverly Hills is the color what I like about this is that it kind of it keeps like a dewy look that's what I'm going for the dew I don't want to have dried ice I want my skin to have a radiance you know for the rest of the day and I do find that by the end of the day I don't look overly made up but my skin looks nice and just like polished okay for brows I bought a got to be <laughs> um, it's called spiking wax I saw people were using like the gel but I wanted more of like a pomade and I, I was looking for something that had lots of hold um, this one's not working as well as I hoped like I want it to be more glued but I guess it'll do for now Worked. I think the trick is to really push the skin, push the brows like on the skin. <laughs> Whoa, that, that's intense. My husband's gonna make fun of me. For sure, he's gonna make fun of me. I'm gonna calm those down. It's a look, <laughs> it's a vibe. Okay. Mascara Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara is the bomb. Haven't been bothering too much with eyeshadow. I've been doing liner here and there, but just a nice coat of mascara. It's going a long way these days. I do find this one transfers a little bit on the bottom lash, so I've been kind of not using mascara on the bottom lash. So this mascara can be a little chunky, um, but it definitely gives you those bold lashes if that's what you're looking for. And last thing, our lips, I'm just lining My lips. So this is Plum from MAC. I'm going slight 90s. And then I'm taking Crushing by G Beauty. Kind of using that together. Right, blend if you want a little bit more. Blending action, more shadows. Okay, you can do that. All right, you guys, there is the finished look. I think this lighting is a little bit more even and less harsh, but I love this makeup look. Um, it's something I've been doing almost every day 
for the last month or so. I just love how it lasts. I just feel really natural. It takes me very little time, maybe five minutes or so. And uh, yeah, I just feel good. I feel good in this look. So I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comments down below if you have any questions, if you need any links for anything. Um, and yeah, take care. I want to do a couple more videos this week, so hopefully we'll see you sooner than later.